It's a very common uh, condition in uh, Western societies and it has to do a lot with our diet and it's related to a, uh, a diet which is low in fiber. So basically diverticulosis is a condition where the colon develops pouches or little ticks as we call, call them in the, the everyday language and those sometimes can perforate and then uh, we can start having gas and contents leaking outside in the abdomen causing an infection. So it could be uh, an incidental finding on a colonoscopy uh, where it tells us that we need to eat more fiber and uh, uh, or it could be uh, a progress to a more severe condition which is called diverticulitis which uh, may lead to uh, infection, pain, uh, fever, uh, need for hospitalization, antibiotics, and sometimes it may lead to the need for surgery. And especially in my specialty in, in colon rectal surgery, this is something that we uh, see a lot and we have a lot of patients with uh, complicated diverticulitis. It usually affects the left side of the intestine or the colon as we call it. It's, uh, it's called in sigmoid colon and that's the area which is uh, more prone to this condition. Approximately uh, half of the population at the age of 60 has uh, diverticulosis and only a fraction of those develop diverticulitis. It is not related to colon cancer te technically. It's, uh, it's not a condition that we call it as a precancerous condition. It's, uh, it's a condition that has to do usually with the mechanics of the colon and uh, how it forms uh, the pouches or the diverticulum on the wall. It's not a polyp, it's not a mass. So these two could be totally different. Now you may need a colectomy anyway, but, uh, but it's not for cancer. Mm -hmm.